Welcome back to the channel everyone, Nemesis here, and in this video, I am just going to be playing some P.E.K.K.A. No, Magic Archer Fireball variation, and um, you know, I'm having quite a bit of fun using this deck as usual because, you know, it's my favorite deck to play and just to have fun. Um, obviously, it's not really fun when the meta is against you, but the deck itself, you know, it's really fun, so... Um, not much else to really say about it. Also, if you're not part of my Discord server, um, I'll have a link in the description for you guys to join it. You know, just have some fun. And yeah, not much else to say about it. So this guy's going for a log right there. And my ghost is going to get a couple shots right there. Oh, it's getting three shots. That's perfect. I'm just going to go for a bandit because he has an awkward cycle. Oh my gosh. Y what? Okay, yeah, I just blocked that Mega Knight at the bridge because I thought he would go for a Goblin Barrel so that's why you know I played a P.E.K.K.A really high right there because if I didn't do that and he Goblin Barreled I would probably take like 3,000 damage not really 3,000 damage um, but um, just a lot of damage in general so that's why I played the P.E.K.K.A high right there just going for a Magic Archer you know just getting that alignment always pretty solid to have uh, good Magic Archer alignments in like most matchups um, Okay, yeah, that was a really bad cannon. So I'll definitely take that. Um, I'm just going to go for Ghost right here too. Because he's kind of low on Elixir. Okay. Let's see what else this Royal Ghost wants to do here. One shot. Two shots. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Always really good to see the Royal Ghost just putting in a lot of work right there. And not much else to really say about it. This is looking super nice. Uh, really not a hard matchup at all. Um, I always say it, like, I always preach it that to kind of beat any of these weird decks, you just gotta know the opponent's cycle. I really do believe that is probably, like, one of the biggest factors to winning a lot of matchups. Um, especially just decks that are just so strange and, like, gimmick decks. Just, you know, counting the card cycle. And if you can also count Elixir too, that's just even better as well. Um... It really does go a long way to beat, you know, some matchups, so it's always really nice. I feel like P.E.K.K.A. in general just takes advantage of knowing the opponent's cycle and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely one of those decks that have that outplay factor, so yeah. It's going to take a fireball right there. He can't really do anything. I just kind of got this game in the bag. My Magic Archer is putting in so much work, and uh, I'll also take a zap right there. And yeah, this is basically game, so... Not much else to really say about it. He's going for a cannon, but it does not matter one bit. So I'll just go for a magic archer right here and, uh, you know, just take a fireball. So GG's, let's go for the next game. Okay, here's the next match and um, see what this guy's got for me. It's going to be chilling for a little bit. You know, I'll just go for a battle ramp for the sake of the video. Um, I don't want, I don't really want to wait too long here, so... He's going to go for a baby dragon. Um, let's see. Let's go for a bandit in the bag. He's got an electro wizard, so don't really know exactly what this is. Baby dragon e -whiz, never really seen it. Um, I'll go for like a magic archer all the way out here. Um, it's going to snipe the baby dragon, so maybe this is like a graveyard deck. I could definitely see this being graveyard because there are some graveyard decks that have, you know, like bowler e -whiz, stuff like that. So... This guy's got a Dark Prince. Okay, I really don't know what this is, actually. Um, yeah, that kind of caught me off guard. I really do not know what this is anymore. Got a Poison. That was so... Like, that was a bad Poison. I just don't know what to say about that. That was just a bad Poison in general. Um, also, um, let me know in the comments. Do you like seeing... Um, do you like seeing P.E.K.K.A. Magic Archer more or P.E.K.K.A. Minions more? Just let me know in the comments. I'm actually kind of curious. Um, you know, because if you guys want to see more P.E.K.K.A. Minions, then just let me know. If you guys want to keep seeing P.E.K.K.A. Magic Archer, just let me know as well. Um, or obviously I could just, you know, mix them in both. I really don't care. Um, I like both variations. So, uh, yeah, just let me know. And not much else to say about that. He's going for a Baby Dragon. Um, I'll just go for my Magic Archer right here, and, okay, this guy is so aggressive with the poisons, I don't really understand, I'm just going to pressure as quick as I possibly can, um, 
He shouldn't have enough elixir to stop this battle ram charge. Perfect. Like that's what I'm talking about. Just kind of recognizing how aggressive he was. So um just I'm taking advantage of it. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh oh, it's got a goblin hut too, so um let's go for my magic archer right here. Honestly, I'm just going to drop my P.E.K.K.A. right here, try to make a really big single lane push, and, um... Okay, this guy's just playing everything right here. So I just gotta play my Ghost, plus my Electro Wizard right here, and, um... Okay, so he's gonna drop his Poison. Man, this guy loves his Poison spells. He drops them, like, every chance he gets, bro. I swear. As soon as he gets a Poison in hand, man, he's gonna drop that immediately, bro. <laughs> But, not gonna lie, I feel like that was a misplay in general, him just dropping the poison, because, you know, I'm just full stacking. He was gonna drop a Mega Knight right there, wow. But it doesn't really even matter, because look how much pressure I have in one lane. That poison spell was so aggressive, and now I just stack in one lane and just overwhelm this guy. That was honestly so nice. Let's go for the next game. Okay, here's the next match, and... Let's see what this guy's got for me. It's going for goblins right there, so I'll just take a zap. Um, let's see here. It's going for a phoenix, so I'll draw my magic archer. It's already looking like royal giant, so um, he has goblins though, so this isn't really the greatest matchup. He's going for an RG immediately. Um, I'll just drop my P.E.K.K.A. right here. Thankfully, this guy isn't playing a fisherman as well. Like he didn't like pre fisherman. That would have been so bad for me. I had to take my chances right there because. If I waited way too long on that RG, or just dropping my P.E.K.K.A, I just didn't want to take way too much damage. Um, and yeah. I'm not going to zap that Fisherman as well, because if I zap it, my P.E.K.K.A will just hit his tower, which will just cause King activation, so I'll just let that go. Um, but you know, like I said, not a good matchup because of the Goblins. Um, if he had Skeletons, it would be a lot, lot better for me where I could outplay it, but um, yeah, not much else to really say about it. Let's go for my ghost in the back here. <clears throat> it's going for a phoenix right there, so... Um, I think I'm just going to draw my magic archer here. Just play passively. Hopefully he like makes a mistake somewhere. Or I could potentially punish him. Okay, he's dropping his ghost plus his fireball. So that's 7 elixir. Maybe I could just like play a P.E.K.K.A right here. Um, I don't really want to battle ram this to defend. Because I want my battle ram for offense. So... Um, Dropping a rage as well, that's crazy. So, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go for a bandit right here because I feel like he's a little low on elixir. And I definitely had to zap these goblins away. Um, just wanna make sure if I do play into this guy, I gotta make sure all his counter push dies because if he has a really successful defense, that's where it gets extremely scary. So, whenever you pressure him, um, make sure his counter push dies essentially. Okay, my battle ram. Is actually getting a lot of damage. Wow, that's nice. It takes tower, so this is really good for me. Um, it's going for a fireball. You know, I'll just go for my electro wizard here. Just okay. I gotta wait a little bit. Just for that reason, you see what I mean? Like people tend to play their fishermen, so or pre fishermen a little bit, trying to predict the P.E.K.K.A. So it's always pretty nice to wait a little bit and then just drop the P.E.K.K.A. So yeah. <clears throat> He's going for a ghost and then a royal giant. I'll just drop my electro wizard all the way out here to kind of prevent any like spell value essentially. Um, I don't want to stack everything for him just to fireball and stuff like that. Um, and yeah. <clears throat> I'll go for my battle ram right here. Plus my magic archer. It doesn't really matter. Really good W. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Okay, here's the next game. And let's see here. Um, let's go for Ban in the back. Really safe play, honestly. Okay, so let me see here. Let's go for my Magic Archer because it's a slow moving card. Don't really want to drop anything fast into the night because it's slow itself. So kind of want to match the speed of its troops, essentially. Let's see. He's going for a Magic Archer. That is so aggressive, bro. I honestly, nah, bro, that, that is not the play on his end. It's single elixir, he's being way too aggressive with that. I'm gonna see if I can just punish him. He's going to drop my Electro Wizard as well to DPS down that Phoenix. Hmm. 
Okay, he's going to drop a Barbarian Barrel. Yeah, that is just so nice. He was way too aggressive. You know, I ate a little bit of Lumberjack damage on the right-hand lane, but... It's definitely the best play to just ignore it and just build up a really big push because that Magic Archer was just not the play whatsoever. So yeah, not much else to really say about it. Really big misplay on his end and I'm just going to be playing passively for the rest of this game because there's no point in being aggressive anymore. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, he's going for a Batram, I'll just P.E.K.K.A that. Plus a Heal Spirit. So this guy's getting a little desperate at this point. Which I'll definitely take, because it makes my job a little bit easier here. And my Magic Archer is actually getting a lot of value for me. Um, okay, really good timing on the Royal Ghost as well. That was like the best timing you could ask for. Let's go for my Electro Wizard right here to DPS down the Phoenix. And um, let's see here. I should be able to get this game in the bag though. There should be nothing to worry about. Um... Unless some miracle play happens on his end. <laughs> uh, okay, he does have an evil knight though. Okay, I gotta watch out for that. That actually might be a little scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, let's go for a battle ram over here. That's a royal ghost kind of late. Fireball the magic archer. Okay, yeah, that evil knight is getting way too... Okay, okay. Alright, that evil knight just did so much work against me. I'm just gonna sell out here, bro. I have to, like... Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna go for a battle ram as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, my P.E.K.K.A. looked the, my P.E.K.K.A. looked the other way. I think that's actually... Okay, yeah. Dude, that was actually scary, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more in the future.